Monday. It's been a minute, but here we are. Um, so today we need to go down the hill and do our second sweep of calves. Um, I didn't film the first time just because it was, we didn't know how it was going to go. Like plain and simple. But anyways, um, we also had, sometimes it's like awkward to film in front of people. I have that issue, like, I'm not gonna be filming in public, I'm not gonna be filming in front of, like, visitors, like, it's just not my thing. Can you see this? Mmm, I'm so irritated. So, I've had some health stuff lately, I have not felt good, like, at all. And, um, my health issues if you want to call it that seem to come out in my skin so anytime i have like skin issues it's a very telltale sign that something is not right in my body which i think our skin tells us a lot anyways like it's not just me i think that that's probably pretty normal normal for a lot of people um however i do have very sensitive skin and my skin like reacts very quickly as soon as I like start not feeling good. So um, I'll go into my health story because I think it's important to share and I've shared it on Instagram and every time I share it, I like am flooded with messages from people asking for more detail. Like, what do you, like, what do you mean? how do you know? Who do you see? Like those sort of things. Um, and I think it's like, Obviously, not all of our health journeys are the same. My health issues or concerns are not going to be the same as yours, but um, I think sometimes it just opens our eyes a little bit and helps us see that maybe we're not doing as great as we think we are or like, oh, okay, I have that similar little thing too, and then it leads you down this little fun rabbit hole of um, learning about our bodies. <laughs> It's the day of cleaning, so I strip the beds, I wash the sheets, I sit on the floor for what feels like hours, and fold everyone's clothes, put them away, so that we start fresh <laughs> for the week. Um, Sawyer just cleaned up all of his Legos, um, so his room needs cleaning, just a little bit of like organizing and stuff. He has two beds in his room because when we first moved, um, the kids loved sharing a room. like. It was super sweet. Um, so these were actually Landon's old beds. They're the Jenny Lind beds from Crate and Barrel. Love. At the time, I ordered these like, what was that? Like five Wait. years ago? No, I think it was like. Yeah, it had to when, be. When I. Like four, four or five years ago, I ordered these beds when we lived in Western Washington for Landon's room. So in our Western Washington house, she had a big room. <laughs> And um, so we put the two beds in there just because I thought it would be like fun, fills the space a little bit better. Um, and then I didn't like when we bought the beds, they didn't have those like really, really pretty wood color ones that they have now. So Landon just got a big girl bed. Um, it's a full size and she got the wood color Jenny Lind bed. So we put these ones in Sora's room. They are kind of like a little bit of a boyish color, but I do wish they were wood. But anyways, we you know, when you have what you have, then there's no point in like buying something else. So anyways, we need to clean his room. Um, he loves to like just put stuff everywhere, but we teach um, our kids to be respectful of their things and they have to put them away. That is the goal is to have a clean space that you can come into. Penny, get down. Penny, down. Penny down. Penny, Penny down. <laughs> this dog Penny. thinks she's a human.
right, we need to head down the hill and um, sort calves. So I think I've mentioned this a couple times before, but we have all of our um, animals on summer pasture right now. And so we've got some calves that are for sale and we need to go get them. have all been weaned and sold and now we're doing it in the next round um, essentially why we're doing it in a couple rounds is because of their birthdays so before we were not like putting our bull out at a certain time or anything so they were kind of like just bred whenever calving whenever um, the majority of them like calved together just ironically but um, that's why they all have different random wean dates so this group will like flush them out into the corral to hold them and then we have to go back we still have some left in the corral down here that um, they weren't gonna fit in the trailer and it was getting kind of rowdy with calves wanting to jump out and trying to push calves in so we're just gonna do it in two loads today did we get all the rest of the calves we wanted in the corral down there or do we have a couple left to go find there's a couple that aren't in there so We'll have a couple cabs left to go hunt down, find, push them into the corral, and then push them into the trailer. So it's been a busy one. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me?
to another, let me scoot you back, another chaotic day where we are being like time travelers for a little bit. So um, I just got a call that I need to go to the Western Washington office. Um, and basically we work today, we need to leave tonight um, or right now and go four hours west. We'll stay with my mom since she lives over there. And then we will have to work out of the Western, uh, Western Washington office tomorrow. And then I have to fly to LA for work on Monday and to be back Tuesday. Wednesday, we have someone coming to see their calf. Thursday, we have a calf that we are um, selling. He's gonna leave. So I am like, I hate busy, busy, busy schedules. Like it's just not my favorite thing. But I'm kind of like, once I get in the zone, it is what it is. So um, I just made Keith and I a big Caesar salad for the road. <laughs> what a what a road snack. We're gonna leave here pretty quick. Keith's out feeding the horses. And while we're over there, my mom has a bunch of trees that she cut. And um, where we live, we have a lot of pine trees and pine isn't necessarily like the best thing to burn. So we go over, um, cause she doesn't need all of it. So we'll go over and cut some rounds um, from some of the logs that are over at her house and we'll bring them back and then we'll have wood to burn this winter cause it gets chilly and our fireplace actually does a really good job. It's not our main source of heat, but our fireplace does a really good job of heating a good majority of our house because we only have one story. It's like a ranch, rambler, whatever you call it. And um, it's big open space. So like the kitchen, little eating area, living room, and then the bedrooms are like at the ends. Um, so the bedrooms don't really catch much of the heat from the fireplace, but the main living areas do, which is nice. Okay. So, we're packed up. We're not leaving as early as we wanted to, which means we will get there way past dinner time. But I had to make um, some phone calls. We had a couple meetings. Keith's over there um, doing the horse hay. So, such is life. You cannot get off a ranch all that quick. 